Here is question 3b part 1. So what we've got in this program, in this question here is it's talking about people who are part of their loyalty program get a voucher if they've spent a certain amount of money in the, in the past month. So they've got a model um, and they're talking about um, X is the number of days after receiving it that they use the voucher. Okay, now I know this question was, there was a mistake in this last year, but this has now been corrected, so we can actually go ahead and do this question. So they've given us the table of values there. So the first thing we've got to do is make sure we understand what the table is about. So for example, if I take this first one here, okay, this zero, what that's saying is saying the chance that a person uses the voucher with a zero days after they receive it, so using the voucher the same day that they get it, the chance that a person does that is 0 0.012. Equally, if I talk about 3, that's talking about the probability that a person uses the vouchers 3 days after that they receive it, and that probability is 0 0.056. Okay, so that's what our table's all about, looking at the chance for each day, um, at this many days after it's received, what's the chance that they use it. Now the f one next thing that we're going to notice is that there is actually a missing value on this. Okay, so if I look at my probabilities there, we've got this gap in the middle that we need to fill. So let's think about all of the probabilities together. We know that all of the probabilities have to add up to 1 or 100%. Okay, so if I were, so I'm missing the probability of it being equal to 4. So I'm missing the probability that x is equal to 4. That's the one I'm missing. So the chance of that occurring is going to be equal to 1 minus all of those other probabilities added up. So that's what I need to do, is I need to add up all of those other probabilities. So I've got 0 0.012 um, plus 0 0.019 plus 0 0.038 plus 0 0.056 plus 0 0.098 plus 0 0.073, plus 0 0.047, plus 0 0.018, we're nearly there, plus 0 0.031, plus the very last one, 0 0.532. So if I do one, take away all of those probabilities, that's going to leave me with a probability there for, Z, for 4, of 0 0.076 okay so that's the one that I'm missing in here of 0 0.076 gosh that's terrible writing okay so we've got the idea that's where the probability fits in so that's what we found we filled in the table first of all now let's look at the question as I say you, we want to estimate the probability that they use the voucher no more than four days after receiving it. So now let's think about what does the words no more than mean in probability. So more, no more than is it can't be bigger than. It can be smaller, it could be the same, but it can't be bigger. All right. So what we actually want to find is we want the probability that x is less than or equal to four. So it can be smaller, can be equal, but it can't be bigger than, no more than. So let's have a think about how we are going to do that. Well, what we do know is we know that the probability of it being equal to 0, we know the probability of it equal to 1, the probability of 2, 3, and now our 4. And so if I was to add up all of those probabilities, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then that gives me my chance of being less than or equal to 4. So that's what I want to do. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 is the... Oh, wrong symbol. Let me change that. Right. 
So we want to, we want to do the probability of of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four. That's what we want to do. So we're going to add all those up. So we've got our 0 0.12 plus our 0 0.0 sorry, 0 0.012, 0 0.019, 0 0.038, 0 0.056, and 0 0.076. We're going to add all of those numbers up. And when we do that, we're going to get an answer of 0 0.201. And that's our probability that they use the voucher no more than four days after receiving it.